Mark is getting gas. Did you get a reply? It's Saturday, and he's not working. Sometimes he doesn't work on a Saturday, and when he doesn't work on a Saturday, I don't get to do whatever I want, and that is really, really annoying to me. I wanted to sit on the recliner and knit and watch Supernatural all day, and that didn't happen. Uh, we did go have breakfast, even though I'm on a salt diet because of my palpitations, and I put myself on a salt diet because I've been to the doctor like a bazillion times and they try to keep putting me on pills and I'm not going on pills. The side, you, once you go on heart pills, you can't get off of heart pills unless you die. There's no, you can wean off. I'm not going through all that. I know how to do it. It's water and cut down on the salt. And maybe exercise, but I'm not exercising. I'm not spending my last breath jogging. Unless I'm running to a yarn sale, that's not going to happen. I'm 103 pounds. If I jog, bad things are going to happen. Like, I'll be even colder. I'm always cold. See? But in my defense, it's 73 degrees out and it's cloudy. Oh, <clears throat> and I have a second shirt on. Oh, and also, because Mark is not working today, I decided not to put my makeup on or do my hair. This is what happens, because I know that it's just going to be him, and now he's back. And uh, this is the progress I've made on my sock yarn hat. So that's what I have going there. I think it's super awesome striping so uh, if I don't make hot hawks if I don't make socks out of the croy Patton's croy then I'll make a hat out of it I'm still afraid to try to make socks I almost said hats making a hat this is like my fourth knit hat and when I first got this yarn I made a bookmarker out of it and it looked really dumb but uh, this is super cool. I'm glad I bought this stuff now. I'm going to make it really yarn. Oh my god. <laughs> really long. I have four skeins of this. So I'm going to use this one all up. And then I'm going to use another whole skein. So it'll be a longer hat. So nobody even knows. It's like so hard. It's so hard to maintain a volley girl accent. Even though I used to be a ballet girl, and I even graduated from ballet, and I think I've told you that story before, and my sister beat me up and said, you are not a ballet girl, and I said, uh-huh, for sure I am. <laughs> that really happened. I don't know what I'm going to do with my two free days off. Mark is threatening to take Friday off with me, and I told him that if he takes Friday off, I'm going into work. So that's that. And I will. Because when he takes a day off with me, he fills it up with things he wants to do. Home Depot, planting crap, cleaning crap, cleaning, lots of cleaning. He loves to clean and that is not my thing. See? This is how I run my kitchen. That's it. Yes! That's how I like it. I've, I, I've never lived alone. Uh, sober. So I don't know how I would actually be if I lived alone. And let's hope I never have to find out. So, that's so why I have to participate in cleaning so he doesn't leave me. I digress. I've heard that word a lot in videos and I absolutely forget to use it. It's an awesome word. I just realized that Mark did in fact caulk all of the cracks in the walls. He's so weird. 
his theory. Can you see the white streaks in the walls? On, mainly on that back wall right there. He caulked all the cracks because he believes, I don't like that angle. He believes that, that scorpions won't go over the wall. They're too lazy. They'll just go the easiest way, which is through the wall. So he sealed up all the cracks. Scorpions can run pretty fast. They don't care where they're going, in what direction, up, down, or through, to get to food. So I don't know where his weird logic comes from. I mean, there's a lizard on the wall right now. It's coming over. Gosh. Sometimes. Okay, Barnes & Noble was $6. My vape shop, three bottles for $9. Super awesome. You just wouldn't understand unless you vape. Um, boom. Then I went to my thrift store and I spent six dollars, five twenty-five there, and I got some super awesome stuff. That'll be in a haul video. I won't say what kind of haul. Yeah, there are different kinds of haul videos. There are all sorts of different kinds of videos. I've been I've been navigating YouTube and I've been finding all sorts of stuff. I, w I want new things. I'm revamping my channel. I'm even sick of my channel. So I'm gonna revamp it. Revamp. There's still gonna be crochet and knitting, but other stuff. Stuff I've been meaning to do, but haven't had the courage or I've been too lazy to do. And I probably won't be good at any of it. And it doesn't matter because I have to try or Mark's texting me. Can you turn off the front light? I noticed it when I left. I love you. Yes, I did that. Actually, no. I turned it off this morning. Whose house is he leaving? <laughs> then I went to my Smith's, my grocery store, and I got my breakfast. I'm not even kidding. This is my breakfast, because I don't like breakfast. It's a Sesame Street cupcake, and those are rings. I can give those rings to my niece and nephew. They would love it. And I can keep the third Elmo. So one can have Cookie Monster, one can have Elmo, and I get the third Elmo. I am working on this latch hook rug. I started it this morning, today, and I have that much done. <laughs> and that's what it looks like on back. Oh, that looks really cool on back. Hmm. Um, I would have started it yesterday if I had paid attention and believed the box when it said there was no tool included. The tool is a crochet hook. But it's really a latch hook rug. Latch hook. Which is a crochet hook. And I have them in every size imaginable, crochet hooks. And I try to do this with every size imaginable. And it does not work. You have to, no matter what, use a stupid latch hook. And it is just, you cannot, you, you can't get around it. I got the fancy one by Boy. If you're going to do a latch hook rug, they give you the color chart and all of the yarn and the canvas, which back in the 80s when I used to do these, the canvas was color coded. The print was right on there, like the blue, you see the blue? Well, the actual butterfly picture would have been printed on there and then you just crochet right over it. But now they don't do that. And it is very important to count. Counting is not my strong point, and either is common sense. So, when I took this, I did count that there are 40, like 40 across, and there are 10 in each box. And I had to tear out 
two rows over and over again because I could not get the numbers to match up. The pattern was matching up, but the numbers... Stop it. The numbers were not matching up. And it is because there's 10 here, well, 10 here, and then, so there's one pink line, and then there are nine here to make that one pink line. There are nine in the box. So don't just take the graph for granted that it's going to be perfect because it is not. So I'm going to have, and I guess they designed it this way, like all of those squares not crocheted and like half that amount not crocheted. But we do have scissors, so I can't even it out. Okay, well, I hate this. I hate it. It is taking forever, and it is awkward. Awkward. It's huge. Sitting on my recliner with this on my lap and the box of yarn there, and then I have to... I'm going to finish it because I never, I never finish anything, and I really want this hanging on my wall. But I really don't want to do it. And it takes forever. Like, each row is like seven minutes long because it's so weird. You have to look for the yarn and count your stupid little boxes on the graph. I don't think color work is made. I don't think color work is made for me or something. You know what, I, you know what else I did? I forgot that Mark is going to dinner with work people and I started cooking dinner and about 15 minutes into boiling the, all the corn and all the potatoes Mark called me to remind me that he's not coming home for dinner and now I have to eat all that stuff he'll eat it when he gets home he always eats after he gets home from dinner <laughs> but whatever but I am making a ribeye steak why am I yelling? I'm making ribeye steak and garlic mashed potatoes and sweet fresh corn. And I've never made fresh corn before and I have no idea how long to cook it for. So I'm going to cook it for an hour. <laughs> because an hour cooks anything except for a roast. Yeah, an hour. And I like mushy corn. I'm going to go because now... I'm just a rambling old lady here. <laughs> Bye. I just spit on you again. All right. Bye.